I uh, will be able to see you. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. So let me make you the host now that. Uh, Yeah, you're now the host, you can uh, take charge of those noisemakers and those people who are fond of disturbing others. Lazima kukwe hivyo. Kwa kila dalasa lazima kukwe na one rotten potato. There must be one rotten potato. There must be one rotten avocado. Hmm? In every market, there is, there is always a mad person. So I don't think we are... We, we, uh, what I can say is that uh, we are about to start our class, but there are some few things that I keep on telling people. Eh? Wherever you are, ensure that you are, you are seated or you are in a place where there is no noise. Because if you are seated in a matatu, heading to wherever you are headed, you are not running. Trust you me, you are not running. You are just struggling to, to disturb others and to disturb yourself also. So if you are seated somewhere where there is noise, ensure that you eliminate the noise as much as possible. If you cannot eliminate, minimize that noise. Minimize it as to the minimum. Make sure that where you are seated, you have enough internet, stable internet. I'm not saying that you wait for your neighbor you, because your neighbor has got Wi-Fi. You're also depending on that Wi-Fi simply because he assisted you with the password just the other day. Now it is the one that you use. That neighbor can decide to do it, to switch it off all of a sudden. So ensure that unajitegemea wewe mwenyewe. So ensure that you have enough internet seated where there is no noise. And also you have a pen and a book where you're jotting down Points. points are very important. Personal points are very important because they help you to understand the overall notes that are going to be unleashed at the end of the topic. So those who, I mean, ensure that those guidelines that I've given you, you are following them to the letter. Ensure that you're following them to the letter. And that is being a student. If you have a question, raise your hand. I'll be able to see you and I'll be able to tell you to contribute to this particular class. If you join with your microphone on, I've given Bina, the host, to kick you out. So if you have a war with her, kindly revert it to me. Kama unajua utakuwa na vita na ye kwa sababu wamekurusha inje. Elekeza hiyo vita kwa angu. Nidili na wewe vizuri. Masi, your microphone is on. Masi, CHTM, your microphone is on and Bina is on your neck. Also, Kangethe and the rest. So, allow me to share my screen. Allow me to share my screen. Those who are typing, I'm not in a position to read your conversation because I'll be sharing my screen and I'll be going through the screen. So, today's topic, we are going to focus on uh, listening skills. Maybe somebody can explain to us what is listening. Somebody, somebody who has eaten lunch, who is energetic, can he or she tell us what listening is? Benson, your microphone is on. Otieno, your microphone is on. Switch them off. Great. When you want to speak, you raise your hand. You don't just speak. There must be a, a order in this class. There must be order. Yes, Benson. Benson, you can speak. I've given uh, you permission. According to me. Yes. You are sounding like a piano, Benson. We can't hear you. Somebody else. Benson is sounding like a piano. I think. We have not heard anything. Yes. Benson, we've not heard anything. Yes. 
somebody else benzo that just get a job now uh because nobody want to speak to us and i don't want to take much time waiting for somebody to explain to us what is listening yes wafula uh, listening is to take notice of an act on what someone says noticing an act or no i mean on what someone says somebody else let's have another two people other two people explaining to us what is listening Can we have somebody else explaining to us what is listening? Yes, we can have Evans and then Cecilia. And then I start my class. Evans. Evans, you are waiting. CJMS. If Evans is not ready, can we have Cecilia? CBM. Cecilia? Yeah. Cecilia, can you speak? Barasa, go ahead. Can these people hear me? How many men are going to be? I'm going to tell you, Barasa, Evans, who else? Cecilia, they are not talking. Who is this speaking? Barasa, there is a lot of noise on your end. We can't hear you. It's uh, like soil is fall, uh, falling on you. There is a lot listening. of noise. Yes, Barasa. Listening simply means the skill or ability to perceive spoken language. Skills and ability to perceive spoken language. Thank you. Cecilia, can we have a lady? We must have gender equality and it should start now because charity begins at home. Cecilia? Cecilia, can we have a lady speaking to us? Can I speak? Yes, Bina. Okay, listening is just to give one's attention to a sound. Uh -huh. Thank you. Anybody else? Anyway, that one is enough. Eh? Now, let's start our class. Those who are writing, I told you <laughs> issues to write. Uh, when it comes to writing, becomes so difficult to, uh, to read and at the same time you are doing what? You are sharing your screen. So the best way is to do what? Is to just raise your hand so that you are given permission to speak. So I'm going to share my screen. I hope you can see it. Hope you can see my screen. That person whose microphone is on, kindly switch it off. First of all, it is noisy. Barasa, your microphone is on. Can you switch it off before you are kicked out? Now let's start our class. Eh? Today's class, we are focusing on uh, listening skills. And when you talk about listening, listening, listening just like communication, it's a process. Listening is a process just like communication. And it happens so fast such that it's very difficult to realize whether it's a process just like communication. So the listening process usually have got four stages and that is receiving, receiving message, attending to them, assigning meaning to them and then remembering them. So it has got four stages. You have to receive a message. Then after receiving that message, you attend to that message. And then you assign meaning to that or to those messages. 
And then lastly, you have to remember. If you cannot remember, then we can say, you are not listening. Just like, for example, uh, you bought a matatu, you are going to town, or you are coming from town and you are going home. There are some matatus. Allow me to give an example of some matatus. Eh? I, did, I, I once boarded a matatu from, uh, from TRC. Is it, was it on a Friday? Yeah, it was on a Friday. This one was a loafer. And uh, this loafer was so pimped. And it had a lot of, uh, a lot of speakers around there. Eh? And the music that was playing there, I cannot even tell you what the, the, what the content was. I can't tell you anything because the matat was vibrating. There was a lot of noise and uh, it was this kind of music. We, we call them what? These ones of Akinari Wayne eh? and the rest. You could not even hear anything, but the matat was vibrating and there was a lot of sound and all that. Now, it, I did not listen to the music, but there is this matatu that you bought and then there is a, a very nice song playing. You can listen to the words, you can internalize the meaning and you can even remember. Afterwards, you can remember the kind of songs that were playing in that matatu or in that particular minibus. Now, that is listening. Listening, you have to pay attention to the words. But hearing, you don't have to. You even don't even pay attention to words when it comes to hearing. Hearing is passive. Hearing is passive. But listening is active. You are actively listening. Like some of us here, they are listening to me, while others, are hearing what I'm saying. Others, they are just hearing what I'm saying. Huh? So listening is passive. No, listening is active. Hearing is passive. That you have to actively uh, internalize the meaning of the words or the message that is being sent to you. Now, we have said that it is a process. Uh, the, 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 the listening is a, a listening skill or listening is a process. And this process entails four stages. Number one is receiving the message. Number one is receiving the message. So here we are saying that, number one, you have to receive the message. And when you look at a day, a day like today, there is a lot of message uh, communication that you have seen. You have seen people talking. You have heard people shout. You have heard people uh, doing what? Uh, persuading others to buy some products. You have met a lot of people. You are uh, your siblings, your brothers and sisters. They had a conversation this very, morning, uh, this very early morning. There is some music playing at your neighbor's, your, your neighbor's door, uh, your neighbor's house, and so on and so forth. But you are not paying attention to them. But maybe, most probably, there is a certain song that was playing, very nice song that you like, maybe by Diamond or Zuchu or whatever. And you really love this song. And you paid attention to that particular music. And you are nodding your head. And you are singing along. You are singing along with the, 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 the system or the sound, something of the sort. Eh? Now, that is listening you are listening to that music. But the other noises that were taking place along the corridor, you are not paying attention to them. Now that is hearing. That's why you will hear people saying, I heard my neighbor screaming. So you are not paying attention to the noise, but you heard him screaming. You could not hear what they were saying and you could not even tell what was happening. So hearing is a mechanical process involving various parts of the ear. While when you talk about listening, it's more composite perceptual process involving our total response to others with spoken words being just part of what we respond to. 
the spoken word is just what we respond to. Therefore, we can say receiving, it is therefore receiving messages uh, we can say receiving messages does not uh, does not mean that it is listening. Receiving messages alone, it does not mean that you are listening. Messages comes in all form and from a variety of sources. Like if you go to town, as you go to town, you will see hawkers selling some clothes or some uh, stuffs. You will see, uh, you will hear maybe uh, the touts shouting 20 bob easily or something of the sort. You will hear uh, people uh, people talking and making noise uh, along the streets of Nairobi, but you don't pay attention to them. The only message that you pay attention to them, I mean, the only message that you can pay attention to them is when you see a stimulus that is attractive to you. If it is a song, that's a stimulus. If you see some people making or maybe they are selling something that you like tights and uh, maybe skinny jeans and all those things, you are attracted to that as, uh, to those stimulus and you pay attention to them. That is our next step. No, the next step is what we call attending. And attending, we are able to focus our attention to a particular stimulus. For example, if you are in a dorm, I think I've given uh, an example of the sort. In the early morning, you're a student, you've just woken up, and then you hear all kinds of noises. You hear that there are some students that are shouting to one another, or you can hear some music playing eh? the next door. But when you, 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 you hear a CD rolls around to your favorite song, just like the example that I've given, you are, I mean, you are all, I mean, you pay attention to it, then, this song will actually block out all the other sounds that you are hearing. It will block out all the other sounds that you are hearing. Now then we can say that the ability to focus on a perception, the ability to focus on a specific perception, on a selective perception, it is usually known as listening. That ability to focus on a particular perception that ability to focus on a specific stimulus, that is usually known as uh, listening. And that is usually known as attending, attending. Then point number three, what we do is assigning meaning. Assigning meaning is simply, you have received a message then you assign a meaning to it. That's when you will hear people saying, Kile alinifanyia nilipokuwa form one, mono. You usually call it mono. Siwezi kusahau. What she told me the first day I joined form one, I cannot forget. Why can't you forget? Because he told you some things and you assigned a specific meaning. You assigned a specific meaning. That's where you that's when you cannot that's why that's why you cannot forget what that person said to you. So when we decide to attend to a message, our next is to assign a mess, a, a meaning to the message. This involves what? It involves assimilating the message. And when you talk about assimilating the message, it simply means doing what? It simply means making it part of our knowledge and experience. Like today, I'm teaching you listening skills. You will be reading these notes. And for you to remember these notes, you will have to assign meaning to everything that you read. Maybe the meaning will be the examples that I've given. So when you talk about assigning meaning, it is one of our knowledge and experience, making it part of our knowledge and experience by putting or assigning a meaning to it. So to assign meaning, we must decide what message is relevant and how it relates to what we already know. Like when you are reading your notes, you try to do what? To, 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 to compare it with the real life situation. For you to remember what you are reading, you have to compare it with the real life situation. 
You don't read notes as though you are reading a speech. Eh? You don't read your notes as though you are reading a speech. You have to relate some parts that have been explained or some paragraphs that have been explained with real life situation for you to remember in future. So in assigning meaning, we also evaluate. So we weigh what the speaker has said against personal beliefs we hold. We question the speaker's motive. We wonder what has been omitted. Like for example, I'm teaching right now. I'm not, uh, because we are talking about listening skills, I'm not going to give you everything as far as listening is concerned. There are some things that I'm not going to teach, to, uh, that I'm not going to, to tackle today, but as I speak, I speak and as I, talk, I, I teach or I take you through my notes, you are going, maybe you're going to think about something and then you will ask a question. In other words, when someone speaks, you internalize the message and then from internalizing the message, because you want to understand more, then there are questions that you ask. Then from there, there is what we call remembering, remembering. It is the final step in the process of listening. And uh, when you talk about remembering, it is usually a selective process. Selective process is, means what? That you have just chosen to remember that. Umechagua kukumbuka hiyo, but zingine zote hautaki kukumbuka. Then you have just decided to remember a specific thing. So that's why we are saying that remembering is a less selective process of doing what? Of determining what is important and what is not important. Like right now, you are listening to me wherever you are. Where you are seated, you can say, ah, yo mwalimu mesema is not important. This one is the most important one. For example, as a student, few of you record the whole of an instructor's lecture. Some of you, I believe you are at home. You are writing down the, 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 the notes and the points. You're not writing everything. You're just writing the most important points. You only take notes that will help you to remember the, the important points. You only write notes to help you remember the most important points. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to unleash the, these, all these notes. There are seven pages notes. And you will only read the most important, or you will only read according to those points that you have put down, that these are the most important. So for effective listening to take place, all these stages must be passed through. For us to say that, uh, Bina, you have understood, then the four stages must be put into consideration. If you cannot remember, then you are not listening. You are just hearing. If you cannot attend, then you are not listening. If you cannot assign a meaning to what you have learned today, then you are not listening. If you miss one step in short, that's what I'm saying, then you are not listening to anything. So we can actually call you a poor listener. So let's look at listening skills. That is 4.11. Listening now, we define listening and we are saying it is the ability to accurately receive and interpret messages in the communication process. If you can accurately receive, if you can accurately receive and interpret messages in the communication process, then we can say you are listening. But if you cannot receive and interpret the meaning in the, uh, the meaning interpret the message in the communication process, then you have not listened. Like I can tell you, put on your microphone. That's a, just an example. If you don't, then you are not listening to me. If I tell you switch off your microphone and you all do it, it means that these people are listening to me. So listening is the ability to accurately receive and interpret a message in the communication process. And in the communication process, we can interpret messages differently. I might say this, but people interpret the message differently. 
For example, in a meeting, how many times have you attended a meeting and this meeting turns out to be chaos? A speaker was elected, I mean, was chosen to speak. And then he speaks and the people start doing what? Interpreting the message differently. And before you realize there is chaos in that particular meeting. So once you are accurately receive and interpret the message, then you give the right feedback. And who gives the feedback? It is the receiver that gives the right feedback to the sender. So listening is key to, the, to an effective communication. So without the, uh, the ability to listen effectively, message will be misunderstood. And when messages are misunderstood, relationships are going to be not to be good. For example, if I had communicated and I told you today's class will start at three, Say for example, I communicate to Bina and I tell Bina over the phone, Bina tell the others that today's class will start at three. Then Bina and the classes today are going to start 15 minutes late. Alafu will join 15 minutes late. The lecturer is not there. How are you going to take it? They are going to be chaos because Bina number one did not understand what I said. I said, class are going to start at three. Then Bina said, it is going to start 15 minutes late. That's why there will be chaos because number one, there is a person who did not understand my message clearly. So listening is key to all effective communication and without listening effectively, messages will be understood. So a good listener will listen not only to what is being said, he will listen not only to what is being said, but to what is left unsaid. There is a saying in my, my mother tongue that says this, a wise person, you don't even have to tell him a thousand words. One word for a wise person is enough. But a stupid person, you will use even examples. You will even use case studies. You will even use <laughs> so many things. Utamwambia mtoto wa jirani angalia nani ona venye anafanya kazi yake unamwambia unamwambia leo unamwambia kesho unamwambia kesho kutwa repeating the same 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 thing year in year out day in day out eh? seconds in seconds out but this person will not listen but if you tell a wise person only one word he understand or she understand what you have said so therefore a good listener we listen not only to what is being said, but to what is left unsaid, or only partially said. So effective listening involves what? It involves even observing the body language. Observe the body language of the speaker. And also notice some inconsistency. Like somebody might tell you, I love you so much. But when you look at his body language, uh, this one, this person, you can actually see this person has been forced by circumstance to tell me that. Huh? Observe the body language and notice the inconsistencies. Inconsistency in his words. And Asema Hivi, he is doing what? He's preaching water and taking wine. That is what we are talking about. Eh? You will realize some inconsistency if you are a good listener. Therefore, then. We look at the principles of what we call the principles of listening. For you to be a good listener, what are some of the things that you're now supposed to do? Number one, stop talking. Stop talking. Like when we started this class, switch off your microphone. Because I want you to listen, to be a good listener. I want you to, this one not to pass you. Because once we are done with this lesson, we are not going to repeat it again. It is gone. Next time we will be handling another topic. So whenever you are, make sure that your microphones are, I mean, there is no noise. Why? To show that you are ready to listen. But as we speak right now, we can tell somebody to switch on their microphone. Mingine ndiyo naingia gari za kuenda uh, Gethorai 45. 
And those matatus are notorious when it comes to noise pollution. It's right 45 and 44. Those who are going to Ngong, there are some matatus, very notorious. Those who are going to these particular places, Westlands, and those people who are going to Kangemi, those people who are going to those densely populated areas, Kangemi, Kayole, where, where else, Dandora, uh, those densely populated, they are notorious is in uh, what we call pol pollution of noise, 44, 45, and so on and so forth. And now you are in class. Unajaribu kuskiza Mr. David leo natufunza nini. You are just lying to yourself wherever you are. Kama unajua kuna kelele nyuma yako. Wee jo uhausomi. You are just listening to me as though you are listening to football on radio. So the only thing you are listening to is goal. Goal. Iyo. Ndiyo unaskiza. Pata mama mboga ameweka karidio kake kadogo tu hapo. Anaskiza Arsenal versus Manchester United or versus Chelsea. Haskizi, hakuna kitu anaskiza, anangojia tu ile moment ya goal. The same case, that is what you are waiting. So, and that is not good listening. So, whenever you are listening, there are 10 principles that you are going to go through them. And I'm going to move at a very, at a moderate speed. Eh? Number one, stop talking. Don't talk, listen. When somebody else is talking, Listen to what they are saying. Do not interrupt. There are people who like interrupting others, even completing their statements. Atuliko naenda kwa kwa duka. Alabda na kuambia nilikuwa naenda kusalimia rafiki yangu. Ukakutana na ka, nikakutana na, oh, ukakutana na kama u. You do what? Do not interrupt. Don't talk over them. Don't finish sentences for them. Type A people, in psychology, we have two kinds of people, type A and type B. A type A person is considered to be a very active person. Like before you even finish a statement, he finishes for you. Before you even say anything, he has already completed the what? The dots. And he knows what you want to do. Maybe you are going to the office. Oh, then you knock, and then he tells you, no, I know what you have come for. It is ready. It is here. Those kind of people. But the type B people, they listen effectively to the last thing. Then they make decisions. I'm not saying that one of them is better than the other. Huh? So do not interrupt people when they are speaking. Just stop, listen to them. When another person has finished talking, you may need to clarify. I like those people who work in a bank. If you go to the bank and you have maybe, for example, 500,000 shillings and you want maybe 150,000 to be deposited in your account, 100,000 to be deposited on your child's school fees account, another maybe 50,000 to be sent to M-Pesa to, via M-Pesa to your father and something of the sort. Maybe you've told the banker like that or the cashier. The cashier will tell you, slow down. What have you just said? You said 150,000 to your account, and this 50,000 to your father via M-Pesa, something like that. They will do what we call clarify to ensure that everything is done accurately. The same case with you as a good listener. Once you listen, try to do what? Try to clarify to ensure that you have received the message clearly and accurately. Do not. I mean, when we have said number one, stop talking when another person is talking. Number two, prepare yourself to listen. How do you prepare yourself to listen? Relax. Focus on the speaker. You relax and you focus on the speaker. Put other things out of mind completely. We said that you can minimize the effect of noise, but you cannot do away with noise completely. Like right now, we are keeping quiet. The platform is quiet, but I don't know what you are thinking. Maybe you are thinking, uh, Leo, today we are making, we are cooking fish. Have I marinated the, the fish? Eh? Those who are doing CHTM, have I marinated the, 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 the fish? Have I uh, made uji for my kids or something of the sort? Today, have, have I taken medicine and you're already in class? Now that is called psychological noise. 
you can only minimize the effect of noise, but you cannot do what? You cannot uh, do away with noise because they have we have different types of noise. So put out uh, put other things out of mind because the human mind is easily distract, distracted eh? by others, by other thoughts. Like for example, you might ask yourself, what's for lunch? What time do I need to leave to catch up my train? You are somewhere, you are asking yourself, you are listening to this class. You are thinking so many things. Eh? That one puts you uh, off the track as far as listening is concerned. So prepare yourself to listen. Concentrate on the message that is being communicated. Then another thing, point number three, which is uh, principles of good listening, put the speaker at ease. If you come to my office to listen, I mean, and you have some issues, if you come to ZTech University and you have some issues, if I'm busy, I'm going to class. I'll tell you, I'm busy right now, I'm going to class. Come at a particular time. When you come at that specific time that we have stated, then I'll be ready to listen to you. I will act, first of all, give you a seat. What are you saying? You will tell me my portal, blah, 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 or my assignment, blah, 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 A, B, C, D. Then I will tell you, what have you just said? Can you repeat it again? Why am I telling you to repeat again? I'm trying to tell you to, to understand clearly what you want. Then from there, I will nod my head to show you that I have understood. I'll even show you some gestures to tell you that I've understood or continue speaking. I'm also going to maintain eye contact. I'm not going to face down. And maintaining eye contact does not mean that you stare at someone. It's Bina who has come to see me. I'm staring at her, staring at her dress, her shoes. Eh? I'm staring at how she has applied makeup. Eh? That one is not maintaining eye contact. There is a difference between, two, between staring and maintaining eye contact. Men like staring at ladies. That's one thing. Huh? That's how it is. Eh? So maintain eye contact, but do not stare at them while you are listening. And understand what is being said. So I will maintain eye contact to understand what you are telling me. If something, if it's something that I can solve, I will solve it there and then. If it's something that I cannot solve, I will direct you to the right person to solve your problem. Point number four, which is principles for, for good listener or for a good listener is remove distractions. Remove distraction completely. Eh? For example, uh, allow me to say this, when I'm reading, eh, when I was uh, your age and I was doing my undergraduate, I would switch off my phone. That I know very well I'm at home and I know I'm doing revision the whole of this week. I would switch off my phone and I'll put my phone far away from me because I don't want anybody to call me because you will be a, a time waster, a distractor. So when you are listening, you remove all the distractions. And as we speak right now, you'll find that some students, uko nyumbani, lakini unanisikiza kama una watch football. Unanisikiza kama una watch, pia uki watch TV. Eh? Yani wewe na remote ni kama brother na ndugu na dada hamuachani watoto wanangoja hapo waone katuni hii ni masaa ya katuni hmm? but sasa wewe umewawekea super sport na umeshikilia remote hmm? na pia uko kwa darasa meaning the distraction is the tv so that is it so focus on what is being said don't do do don't shuffle papers. Look at look at the window. Don't do that. Don't pick your fingernails. Eh? Don't pick things on your nose. There are people who like picking things on your nose, on their nose, and then they direct whatever they have picked on their nose to their mouth. We have all the people who does that. Not only kids. You pick things on your nose, even on your ears. You pick them on your ears. You direct them towards your mouth. 
We have human beings who are grown up and they do that. And we know. So stop doing that. Those are very annoying behaviors and those are very serious distractions. Number five, principles of uh, a good listener. Try to understand the other person's point of view. Emphasize, emphasize. Or is it emphasize, emphasize. Try to understand another person's point of view. Uh, there is a, a, a what we call, there is always something that usually you'll find it on Facebook on, it's, it's a message that goes around. A six is, is written down. The other person who is on the other side, side of the, the, uh, the tail of number six, he sees it as number six, while the other person on the other side will see it as number nine. So you are told, understand his point of view. Understand how he's reasoning, where he's coming from in terms of speaking. Because where you are coming from, you might, your, your opinions may differ. Especially during a debate, we all come from very different backgrounds. We all come from very different backgrounds. There is a person who is here. The father has sold Mwampe Kalibu Oten, you are me. While you, you come from a very rich background. Affording fees is just a snap of the finger. Huh? If you ask for money, you just receive pocket money. There is a person when he asks for pocket money, he receives it after a whole week or even two weeks or even none or a whole man. So if he tells you he doesn't have, understand him from his point of view. So people come from various different backgrounds, even the way they argue their point, they argue differently. They argue differently. Like you can give a person from a very poor background, 5,000, and you tell him to start a business. But if you take that 5,000 to a person who come from a very rich background, he will tell you what is this. This is pocket change. This one cannot even buy pizza. That's what they will tell you. But this other person will take the 5,000 and invest in it. Atanza to Kibanda Yakuza Skuma. Before you realize, after one year, he has what? A, a shop. Or the rich kid will see it as pocket change and he will spend it within a second. So, understand people's point of view because we come from various backgrounds, various backgrounds, various communities, various beliefs, various attitudes. So that is one thing, emphasize, put yourself into another person's shoes. Be patient. When you're listening, be very patient. Don't be in a hurry. Hmm? For example, some of us, we are very young. You will, be, you will get old. One day, you will start uh, having a bank account. You start taking loans in banks. And some of us are usually in a hurry eh? when signing those documents. You've been given a document, go and read. Or the banker is trying to tell you, this is how it happens. Eh? When you take a loan, this is what? These are the charges, these are the charges. And you're not listening, you're not patient. Oh, nangojia mahali utandua sign hapa, you sign. You sign. Before you realize, after you are not able to pay your loan carefully, I mean uh, successfully, they come and pick your land and they sell it. They sell your land. Eh? So because you are not ready to listen, avoid personal prejudice. Avoid this. Eh? Avoid this completely. Try to be impartial. Ni Mr. David, oh, uh, you are talking about uh, he's from where? From Machakos County. I mean, I don't listen to campus. Campus, they don't say anything that is uh, that is that makes sense. Campus are jokers. Then uh, you hear that it is a muzungu coming eh, to give you a motivational speech. You say, ah, muzungu. Sa muzungu nini Those are prejudices. Eh? Avoid prejudice. Hmm? It's Mr. David coming to give you a speech on how to be a good listener. 
Kisi ya Mr. David huu mwenye natufunza communication skill. Ami siendi. Kwa nini hauendi? Ya siyo ni mwalimu wetu tunamujua. Ha? That is personal prejudice. Or maybe I'm communicating. You don't want to listen to me simply because I am your communication teacher. And so on and so forth. Listen to the tone. Listen to the tone of voice. Volume and tone, they all add to what someone is saying. A good speaker will use both volume and tone to their advantage to keep the audience attentive. Like I'm using my volume and I'm also using my, my tone. The tone that I'm using can tell you that this person is serious, this person don't know anything, or this person is not serious, or that point that he made, it was just a joke. How do you differentiate jokes and, and, uh, and facts? By the way, the speaker is using the tone and the volume. How do you tell that this thing that the teacher has said is more important than the other? It's through the tone and the volume. When the teacher tells you, like for example, right now, there is an assignment that I gave assignment one, and only 78 people have done that assignment. That assignment will expire tomorrow at 5.30. So if you've not done that assignment, assignment one, kindly go and do it. Because I'm not going back to that assignment once it closes down tomorrow. And people are going to come up with excuses and I will not listen to you. Others will tell me, Nilisa, how shamelessly I forgot. Now you can hear my tone when it comes to assignment. So that's what we are talking about. Listen to the tone. So my tone is a very serious one. So if you don't do that assignment, kindly don't call me to tell me that you did not do because of ABCD. My question to you will be, how many days did you have to do the assignment? You had 15 days, 40, one week, no, two weeks, one day. In fact, two weeks, one and a half days. Because I to me Bakisha, one hour, no, one day, five hours to do that assignment. So that is it in the process of learning. So the next thing is listen to ideas, not just words. Don't listen to words eh? and wait and watch for nonverbal communication. The what the speaker is saying, what are some of the nonverbals that he's giving you? Listen to them. Look at his gestures. Eh? Look, at, look at his facial expression. Look at his eye movement. Eh? Sometimes when we go to town and I'm talking to us, eh, all of us who are here, the moment we decide to go to Nairobi town, Nairobi city, some of us have not been there, but some of us have been there. Eh? And you meet a person that you don't know, maybe he's asking for direction. If you want to know that this person is a con man, look at their eyes, look at them directly on their eyes and you will see how their eyes are, is, they are moving and you know that there is something fishy going on. If you are good at uh, uh, reading someone's gestures, look at their facial expressions, and then you will know this is a con man. Before even you get into the trap, you will know that this is a con man. You will know someone who is lying to you. This one goes to the ladies. Ladies, if you want men to fear you, focus on their eyes. If somebody calls you, muangalia tu kwa macho. Focus on their eyes, maintain eye contact. And you know this is a joker. Who mtu ni joker kabisa. Or you will even know this person what he wants from you. He wants from you or what he wants to say even before he says it. The secret is maintain eye contact. Men are not good at maintaining eye contact, but ladies they are good in that. Maintaining eye contact can give you a lot of information concerning an individual. Even when it is a business deal, maintain eye contact. Look at that person. Even when you are called for an interview, it's a job position. They are looking for a caterer. They are looking for a, a procurement officer. They are looking for a, a what? a business administrator, eh? focus on the 
I mean, focus your eyes on the interviewers. Maintain eye contact with them because it shows how confident you are and how articulate you are and how good you are. But when you ask a question, your face is facing south. The person talking to you is facing north. It's facing you, your eyes are focusing down or you are looking at various directions. It shows you are incompetent. And there are a lot of things that you are hiding that you are not telling us. There are a lot of things you are hiding, you are not telling us. So the best way to focus on the eyes and then be very eloquent, be very eloquent and be very flexible. When you ask a question, what is your, where do you live? Huh? I live in Kibera. Just say something. I live in Kibera, Kibera somewhere known as this point and uh, around there extend. It shows how flexible you are. When you are told, where did you go to school? I went to Zitec University. I pursued certificate in business management and I was there between the years this and that. Zitec University. You are too stiff. You are too stiff. You are direct to the point, which is not good. An interviewer is looking at your behavior, how you behave, how you talk, how eloquent you are. So whenever they're asking you questions, they are learning a lot. That's why some of you will be called for an interview. They'll be called for a second interview and even a third interview, while some of you will never be called for any interview. The first interview and you are kicked out. So that is it. So barriers to effective listening. Let's look at the barriers, things that keep you off track when it comes to listening. Number one is distraction. And the four main distractions are physical. Physical is anything that you can see that distracts you. Maybe you make a karibu na TV. Amo make a karibu na simu, simu yako. Ama kuna muangaza pale mahali na unaka. Muangaza mingi sana. Hata hawoni vizuri screen. Ama kuna giza totoro. Especially in Nyumba za Nairobi. Zina jengwa murefu, unaishi ground floor. Ground floor city mena shindanga imewaka. Sababu kuna giza na ni mchana. Harafu kuna baridi kweli kweli ya. Ukitoka inje kumewaka jua. Ni kama tuko januari. Eh? Physical. So we have different kinds of distractions. We have physical distractions. We have mental. You are in class, you are thinking of a, a girlfriend or a boyfriend. Huh? Or you are thinking how you are going to do what? To call your mom. Ati mumepewa assignment na inaitaji 1500. Or you are thinking about the best clothes that you are going to buy. Huh? And you are, you are in class. Huh? We also have auditory. Auditory is any, any noise that comes from hearing. Sometimes it can be you have a problem with your ears. Somebody has to shout for you to hear what they are saying. Or visual, you don't see clearly. You don't see clearly. Those are the only distractions. I mean, you, you, you know, visual, we are talking about anything that passes across. Eh? Maybe you are listening to, the, uh, to, to, to this particular class. Then all of a sudden, kaona panya mkubu amepita huko juu. Amepita. So, badala ufocus na kile mwalimu anasema, Wewe unamuangalia tu panya, vili anaenda, ama ngombe akapita tu hapo. Huh? Ama mnyama tu yoyote, ama rafiki yako, amepita tu. Badala ufocus na kile ambacho kinasema, wewe unafocus na vile vitu ambavyo vinapita ndele yako. We also have excessive attachment to personal beliefs and values. So we have excessive attachment to personal beliefs and values. These are distractions, barriers to effective listening. That to kiskia tu mutu anongea ni to mesema ya kwamba abdi to to ombe. Kosa babu ni mu Kristo. Autaki kuona mu Islamu a mesima mana to ombe. Si ata opia uomba. Even them they pray. Even in so many occasions, like Madaraka Day and Jamuhuri Day, you will hear 
a certain imam. Is it an imam? If I'm wrong, you can you can do what? You can uh, you can uh, do uh, you can rectify me. A certain imam has been called to to pray. Then a certain bishop is praying, and so on and so forth. So because you have so much attached to Christianity, you don't want to hear anybody else pray. You don't want to hear the mass I pray. Huh? You only believe that Kikuyus are the best players. Then they play to one God, one true God. The others, something of the sort. So that is attachment to personal beliefs. Huh? But it is okay to have personal beliefs and values, but an excessive attachment to them will have negative impact on your ability to listen. You say, I mean, I don't listen to, I don't listen to, 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 to this kind of people. I don't listen to these. These ones, they lie a lot. Eh? These ones are con men. I don't listen to that, to these people. Eh? Also another, another word, another barrier to effective listening is faking attention. Kuna watu wanajua kufake attention, especially ladies. You are talking a point and they are nodding their head as though you are together. But these people, their minds are very far away. The best thing about ladies, they know how to multitask. They can listen to you as they watch another thing happening and as they do something else. They can multitask. Men, we are very poor at that. Uko jikoni, kuna chayu unatengeneza hapo. Kuna mtoto anacheza na toys hapo na wewe pia unafanya nini unachonga viazi upande huu mwingine. And a lady can do all those things and everything will be okay. Now men try that. Either mtoto ataungua ama chai itachemka imwagike ama utajikata ukichonga hizo viazi. One thing must, must can happen. Unless you are used to multitasking. I'm not saying it's all men, but most men are not multitask. So then we also have emotions. Emotion is another thing that buy, uh, that bars one from listening. Like if somebody is very angry, it's very difficult for you to do what? To tell him something and he listens to you. I'm assuming a point where people are fighting. These people are very angry with, each, with one another. To calm them down, even to stop them fighting is another thing. Even when maybe, for example, you have lost your loved one. And maybe your friend is closer to you. He's telling you, it is okay, it is okay. Things are going to be okay. You don't listen to what they are saying. Because your emotions have taken over. Your emotions are, have taken over. You cannot listen to anything. Something of the sort. So emotions, most of the time, and always, they do what? They bar us from listening. They become barriers to effective listening. Noise is another thing. In, in uh, communication skills, noise is a general term. It is always difficult to do what? To listen to someone in a noisy environment. I think we have said this a lot of time. Then fear. Fear is another thing, is a, is a, is a barrier to effective listening. Because people who are afraid during conversation are not likely to listen. People who are afraid during a conversation, they are not likely to listen. Even when you're called for an interview, of course you are nervous. Nervousness does not mean you are, you are fearing. But if you go there fearing, most likely you will not hear anything. And then point number seven is trying to listen to more than one conversation at a time. You're listening to Mr. David is in class. You're also trying to listen to something else. You're also trying to listen to uh, the latest mixtape uh, mix eh, by DJ Demakufu and so on and so forth. Back of interest is another thing. You don't want, you have no interest. You are not interested at all. Eh? A certain preacher is preaching. You are not interested. It's Pastor Nganga preaching. I me, mean, I am not interested. You will not hear anything. Even if he says something important, you will not get it. Then lack of focus and also having closed mind. Having a closed mind simply means what? It's all about ideals. 
values and beliefs that connects us. So then you have closed minds. Eh? Then you don't listen. So listening, uh, we have come towards the end and we are looking at listening more effectively. Number one, this is simply like a, a summary, prepare yourself to listen. Number two, um, listen for the main idea. Yes, I can see you. Listen for the main idea, listen for the supporting details, link introduction with conclusions, and also recognize context, clues, and also take notes. A good listener should take notes, should take, uh, should actually look at the six main points. Number one, prepare yourself to listen. I think we, go, we went through that. Listen for the main idea. Listen for the main ideas or main points. Number two, listen for supporting details. That is the nonverbals and the verbals. Link introduction with conclusion, because uh, I think there is always a connection between the two. And then recognize the context clues and also take notes. A good student should do all those things. Without much me, I will stop at that point. Unless there is a question, let me stop sharing screen or maybe we can be looking at, yeah, let me stop sharing screen and we wait for the question. Any question? Kuna sorry. Do we have any question? Angina wanangwajia tuwa pa kuzaini register. Wana mtu wa meuliza hapo, nini kwa wapi paso wa dia register? Tunaingia tu kuzaini register. Kuna soali. So there is somebody here. Let me go through your charts. A uh, new student. Uh, there is a new student trying to catch up with me. So. Uh, Bina, kindly Bina share what we call uh, what the link for WhatsApp group. You can share the link for WhatsApp group so that uh, everybody can join the WhatsApp group. Kama kuna group he unit ya class, mutwa na izani add. There is somebody trying to, who is asking to be added to that group. And then there is, um, I have technical issues on my end. Solve it. I hope you have solved it. Eh? Yeah, there is somebody by the name Makuri. Makuri, you have a question. <laughs> yes, Makuri. Post yes, I hope you, you, you're getting me right. Yes. Can body posture really show all the mind? Kuna kelele inatoka mahali fulani. Can you come again? Makuri. Can body posture really determine that you're a good listener? Body posture. Mm -hmm. mm, no, it can't. It can't. But you can get from the nonverbals, eh? The way you are seated, whether you are a good listener or not. Whether you, you it can determine to some extent. For example, good listeners, how do they sit? Do you sit like you are running away? Or do you sit like your stomach is, uh, is upset? Yeah, there is a way you sit. Because we said that nonverbal communication, eh, it can be misinterpreted. But mostly, when you look at the nonverbals, you can tell whether this person is listening to you or not. Like uh, you are seated facing down. You are facing down or you are facing your desk, you are not focusing on the listener. That's body posture. Then that means you are not listening. Something of this, yeah, it can, it can. To some extent, yes. To some extent, yes. But sometimes somebody can be seated in a very funny way, maybe because of their, that's how they sit. That's how they sit. Then uh, I hope I've answered your question. 
Any other question? Any question? Those who are seeking for quizzes to be opened, quiz one up to quiz four, I'm not going to open those quizzes. And that is how assignment is going to be. If you don't do those assignments, assignment one, I'm going to expire cash. Maybe you could have to do it. This is to me. We are going to do it. We that's why I'm insisting, make sure you do that assignment. I've seen that 78 people have done it and we are already 117. So you can say 98 no 78 minus 117. How we know what our Japan is. I don't know what you are waiting for. Hello. Do we have any question? I'm also looking at the time because you need to do some uh, some what some discussion. Have have a question. Shan, yes. As for me, I've already done the assignment, mm. but the problem is uh, how can I submit the assignment? Dina will take you through on the on the whatever we call it what on the face uh, uh, is it our WhatsApp. She will take you through how you supposed to do it. And please, there are people who are very uh, who are uh, who write a lot of things. Napata eh? said metunandika seven pages. Surely seven pages at a way. That's all known in a kata pia. You're supposed the, the, the maximum pages you're supposed to attach are two. The maximum pages you are supposed to attach, there are only two pages. So if you have done more than three two pages, minimize it to the right to, 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 to what? Minimize it to two. Any other question? So if there is no question, allow me to go and check uh, for the password for of today's attendance. Eh? Now before I go to attendance, or let me let me share it so that I can give you the activities of the day. Remember, I said activities are going to be marked. If you've not been doing my activities, where car to give you? Car to come to a cocoa hotel and go there. You are asking, there is somebody who is asking whether where he can get the recordings. The recordings are there. Bina will show you. Every topic, there is always a recording, apart from today's topic. Every class, there is always a recording. And this is how they follow one another. Number one, there is a class, class link. After class link, there is notes. After notes, there is class recording. So that is uh, today's what? Let me share that. Uh, that is today's password for the register. Kindly make sure that you sign the register. Apart from signing the register, Put your money to work your microphone on. But you switch over, you might switch off your microphone. I can see you on the radio, Makwetu. So to, today's notes have already been opened. You can download them. And then there is discussion, discussion 4.2. You're going to do the discussion. I hope you know how now to do the discussion. Do not discuss your friend's discussion. Because some um, people went and discussed, or that is what others have been doing. You are discussing other person's discussion. So there is an activity there called a discussion. You're going to read it. It is quite a lot. Eh? 
it starts like this. The semester has just begun and you have a roommate. The phone rings and your roommate answers. Hey. You can hear that the caller has disturbing news. From what you can make out, someone may have died. Your roommate hangs up, goes over, goes over to his or her bed and lies down. Applying what you have learned today about active listening, what might you say and do? Explain in details. Post your discussion in the provided discussion forum. That one is already open. That one is already open. You can do it as we speak. And then there is what we call uh, quiz, one, quiz four. Quiz four is waiting for you. So unless there is a question, Mia will stop at that point to allow you time to go and do the discussion forum. Takuachia hapo. Password in the gang. 